On March 1st, 2023, NASA's Juno spacecraft begins its year of exploring Jupiter's volcanic moon Io with a flyby at a distance of just 52,000 kilometers or 32,000 miles. This is the first of four Voyager class encounters Juno will perform at Io in 2023 prior to a close flyby on December 30th. Juno's camera, called JunoCam, acquired six images of Io during its previous encounter on December 14, 2022. These images took longer than expected to become publicly available due to a pair of issues. First, the spacecraft went into safe mode shortly after the start of data playback. According to the project, the spacecraft encountered an issue where it could not access data stored on its solid state memory, possibly due to a radiation spike when Juno was close to Jupiter. Mission Control rebooted Juno's computer system, and the spacecraft were put into safe mode as a precaution. By the end of the month, the spacecraft was brought out of safe mode and it was able to send all of its Perigeo 47 data back successfully. Another issue that cropped up was an anomalous temperature rise experienced by JunoCam when it powered on prior to both Perigeo's 47 and 48. This temperature rise lasted for 36 minutes at the start of the Perigeo 47 encounter, resulting in four unusable images. However, during Perigeo 48, this temperature rise lasted for 23 hours, damaging most of the images to be acquired of Jupiter, except for a few on the outbound leg of the encounter. JunoCam engineers plan to keep the camera on through the Perigeo 49 pass in the hopes that crucial data such as the images from the Io encounter are not lost due to the same issue. JunoCam images from Perigeo 47 reveal albedo and color variations consistent with those seen by New Horizons, Galileo, and Voyager. However, from this polar vantage point, we can see some features unseen by any of these missions, such as a dark spot near 84 degrees north, 345 degrees west. This could either be dark lava flows or the shadow of a mountain. Given the resolution of 45 kilometers per pixel, it is hard to distinguish between the two, but it should be noted that GRAM has yet to see thermal emission from this feature, suggesting that it is probably the shadow of a mountain. What can we expect from Juno on this next encounter with Io? When it comes to imaging data, we can expect JunoCam images to be acquired, spaced out over the period of an hour as Io passes left to right to the field of view. The best images from JunoCam will have a resolution of 34 kilometers or 21 miles per pixel. Unlike during the last pass when Juno passed nearly straight over Io's North Pole, these images will focus more on the northern mid-latitudes of Io's trailing hemisphere. These images will also provide an opportunity to image several volcanic plumes like Marduk, Boland, and Pele, presuming of course that they are active during the pass and the lighting conditions are right for them. And while the viewing angle will be a little poorer than during Perigeo 47, the newly discovered North Polar feature will be visible on this pass as well. JunoCam images may also be extended to include Jupiter in the image strips for a family portrait. Juno's other imager, the Juno Infrared and Auroral Mapper, or GRAM, will be able to map thermal emission at volcanoes like Prometheus, Lake Confluctus, Voland, and Zamama at a resolution of 13 kilometers or eight miles per pixel. This pass will also provide an opportunity to image volcanoes to the west of Prometheus, a region that until recently has been poorly imaged by GRAM to date, but was very well covered by the near infrared mapping spectrometer aboard Galileo more than 20 years ago. This is the fourth of a series of IO encounters by NASA's Juno spacecraft, which culminate with a pair of close flybys in late 2023 and early 2024. The next encounter in the sequence takes place on May 16th.